Hello friends, um, this video i like to uh, give you guys some tips on uh, doing the patio uh, poles here, okay, um, I have three patio poles, okay, that I've been digging, this one is actually finished, okay, um, I don't know if you can see that, uh, see, it's gone all the way down, this hole is actually um, about 52, 54 inches, let me get a tape and show you guys what I mean. So, see, the 48 is actually below already. And it's roughly, yeah, 51, 52 inches. But I'll be going up when I fill my concrete. I'll be going up to about 54, 56 inches, okay? So it's actually below great level already, um, below the frostbite line actually. Um, then I'll be filling up some gravels in here, okay? And these are the gravels that I'll be putting in. Um, so this is also um, to let you guys know for the homeowners uh, that when you guys apply, um, hire somebody to do it, to be honest, these hole, it actually took me three weeks plus just to dig these holes yes if I do it every day I do it would have been done sooner but it'll still take us a very long time the reason why I just did it by hand without an auger and let me tell you why I do didn't do it with an auger one basically if I rent one which is not that bad if I rent one the fact that it's only me and the main reason why I don't rent an auger to do it, because if I break that auger, the blade, because there's a lot of stones in here, okay? And if I break that blade, I'll be paying for the blade from the renter, okay? And that's gonna cost me more money by digging a hole, okay? Um, at the other, another scenario, even though I know that there's no uh, uh, lines or anything under here, just in case, if I use an auger and it's hit on the side, I'm screwed. That's even worse scenario. So, um, and all this it took me that long because I'm doing it all by myself, just with this uh, steel pipe and the picking, okay, and a shovel. Um, this one is um, more. I got like three quarters of one, maybe like I would say halfway done. So I still got to continue this one. The other two is uh, is done already. The other one, I just had to bit more, a few more inches. Okay. And my post is not going to go down, okay. For a lot of you guys who uh, who's wondering, uh, the reason why I'm making it deep. deep, deep the foundation, I want my foundation solid and I'm gonna do it one time. I have a kid, two kids, one nine and one four years old. Down the road, I don't wanna be digging this up and replacing a, a rotten post, okay? Every post is gonna get rotten, but mine's gonna to be top, on top of this cement. And if my foundation is solid, even if my post failed down the road, I could change it from the top it's not that difficult and for homeowners the reason why I'm just letting you know because I do for people too okay but I tell you this is where all the labor comes in that you're getting charged for because this is heavy work it's not easy like I, I mentioned to you it's over three weeks that took me to do this and every one of them I only do it for a few minutes and then I take a break I got to come back to it again every five minute into change basically I dig a little bit and then I got to rest hey I'm in my 50s so I'm pretty tired too um, so basically get back to the point the gravel is gonna go in down okay and then I'll be filling it all the way up from there later I'll get the symptom tie and anchor it down okay and when I do that there's gonna be tricks in here which is another video that I'll mention these are secure but um, the key to this is um, I want you to know that for homeowners if you guys gonna do it 
I uh, suggest if you do this, you gotta put a lot of out to your time or you have help to dig these holes because this is the hardest part and it's the most important part, okay? So uh, either you've hired somebody and if you do, if they get, don't be cheap on the price. I'm gonna tell you right now, the labor is very tiring. And if you're supposed to do it yourself, this is the hardest part to do, okay? And sometimes I know a lot of people search for price and all that. Yes, it's okay to search price. But if you're trying to get it so low, I'm going to tell you, I went to fix up quite a few of the posts from people's home just a few years. And it's gone, literally gone. Well, what do you know? What you pay is what you get. Because if you're paying somebody so low, obviously they might not even dig down. And the most important is, if you're gonna pay somebody to do it, make sure before they fill the cement, the concrete in, make sure you see how many, how deep it is. Because if you're not below the frostbite, I'm gonna tell you down the road, you're gonna be costing more money, somebody to dig it back up, if they put the post in to the ground, okay? But if it's on top, you could actually change it yourself, okay? But make sure you see when they're pouring in, make sure the measurement is at least 48 inches deep, okay? That's to be the safe side, but that you're, like I said, and I mentioned, you're paying for the money, and you know, it's hard labor in here. And if you were supposed to do it yourself, you don't believe me, do it, and then you'll know, understand that uh, a lot of these things, the person's putting on a lot of labors to, put, to do the job to do it right. But I'm like, say, like I'm saying, make sure it's the right type of contractor that does the right job, proper job for you. So then you don't have to waste the money, you know, again later. You will waste the money on changing the post down the road no matter what. But better to do on top. That way, if you want to change, you can change your, your, yourself. Okay? Um, so that's the thing about the post, if I uh, mention it right. Okay, to you guys. Uh, if you catch it all. Gravel, at least 52 inches or 48 inches, okay? Um, or 54, whatever it is, below 48. As long as it's below 48, it's good, or at least, okay? Then you're gonna have some steel rod in there. Uh, um, rebar is put down and just fill it up. You can use funnels and all that. And the thing is, after you do that, leave it, let it cure. Then you can put your anchor in. There's two ways. To, there's quite a few of the anchor. One of them you do it while it's wet. You pour it in and then you stick it in. Other than that, the one that I have um, is basically I'm gonna wait until it's dry and then I drill a hole and anchor it down. Okay. And down the road I'll re reinforce that. All right. So please, if, if you have any comments or anything you think that I've uh, haven't covered. Please let me know or maybe like I'll do it anyway down the road when I'm thinking when I'm starting to fill this. But still leave a comment. Alright, if you like this, please subscribe. Thank you.